Digging deeper here, we've got some all-time midterm highs that should serve as red flags for the Democrats. The wrong track, 71% all-time midterm high since we've been polling. How about presidential approved disapproval on the economy sitting at 57%? Again, we hadn't recorded that uh, ever that high in our poll. And the third one, the direction of the economy. In the next year, is it going to get better or worse? 50% say it's going to get worse again, an all-time high in midterm polling. Our economy is still as hell. And the fact is, is that uh, when I hear people talk about inflation, as I heard him there, we have to change that subject. Inflation is a global phenomenon. Our economy is still as hell. But on things like sending, you know, those fourteen hundred dollar checks, putting yeah. cash out there. Right. I mean, didn't that end up contributing to inflation? Do you have any regrets about the bills you passed and how you structured them? No, absolutely not, because this that was necessary. Secondly, if you don't have one of those loans, you just get ten thousand written off. It's passed. I got it passed by a vote or two. You told Andrea Mitchell earlier this week, we need generational change, but in some cases, there's no substitute for experience. Right. <laughs> Which does Pelosi speak for? You can pry the gavel from my drunken dead hands. Will you remain in leadership in the new Congress? I'm Hell no. I'm not talking about that. I'm here to talk about how we win the election. But to <laughs> yeah, right. Deliver uh, on all I these was only things. Paying, I was only paying Andre a compliment for all the experience that she has. I see. The, but the fact is, what we so, need to... So you may or you may not. No, she will not be. I'm not here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about the future America's working families for the children. Oh, yeah, it's totally about the children, which is why you're destroying the economy with debt and inflation potentially force the NOD to attend public school, pervert the youth with gender indoctrination and demonic hormonal treatments. And if all that fails, ah, fuck it, we'll just kill them in the womb because abortion is all you cockwits can ever talk about. All the while, you're soon to be visited by the Grim Reaper, you decrepit, psychotic old bitch. Um, you know, I'm in good health. All of my, everything physically about me is still functioning well. <laughs> so, you know, and mentally too, so. Why, why don't the American people, according to the surveys, trust Democrats, but instead trust Republicans? Well, let me just say one of the, you talked about uh, uh, what you perceive to be a change in momentum. Let me just tell you what I have seen over this past month. The bottom of many a bottle as the inflation has hit the Botox bill. I don't subscribe to what you said, that they don't trust us. Uh, the fact is, is that in the last few weeks, the Republicans recognizing now that they have a problem in this election. Clearly, the projection is shining out of your asshole, Nancy, as the Republicans are the ones that have gained ground recently. And you all have been telling them they're going to win for like a year and a half. But no, they merely point out the polls, which you retards clearly don't pay attention to. They're seeing uh, what's happening on the ground. So they have placed unlimited money, unlimited money into these races with unlimited fact, uh, uh, with misrepresenting what the reality is. And it takes its toll. Especially when you're over 80 years old, fueled by alcohol and aging like an expired scarecrow. The vice president of the United States, yeah. Vice President Harris. How's she doing? You're almost two years in. How's she doing? She's doing great. She is a, uh, first of all, she's smart as hell. Uh. I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the three circles. I love Venn diagrams. I just, like, just throw it into a Venn diagram. I'll tell you everything you need to know about any issue, especially where there is, you know, you're trying to understand the intersection and the connections, right? Yeah, clearly the underrated genius of our time. Mind you, this dipshit claimed his crackhead son is the smartest person he knows, so the bar for intelligence is lower than Biden's scrotum. She has, she has a backbone like a ramrod, and she has enormous integrity. No. <laughs> and, uh, but if you take a look out there, there isn't any public figure that is, you know... 60% favorable ratings. I mean, you know, most of the, and, but she is doing a great job and she is, and she is really, really thoroughly informed and, and particularly 
on areas of foreign policy and national security issues. Oh, come on! Fucking hell, there's colorful embellishment, then there's just straight up taking the piss. I have more substantive experience on the issues facing the country, both in foreign policy and domestic policy, than any president ever. Nigga, is you crazy? 